Here at Gadfly, we're a non-profit organization. We're at every corner. We try to take your money. Now, how do we get this money, you may ask? Let me reboot my jacket. I don't know why I did that. Every percentage of a cent that we get from a video, we put it in our shoes. Because shoes are where you keep your money. Hold my messages. And now, where, how do we get these good ideas? You know, we just get ready and we just knock them out the park. You see what I'm saying? And now, we turn a corner, and at that corner, boop, we're stealing your money again. Now, how can Gadfly do this, you ask? Because we have such a determination and work ethic. But, where does this work ethic come from? Where does it come from? Drum roll, please. It comes from our humble beginning. We started in Locker 461. That's where we originally met. We met in that locker for three to four months, brainstorming on A, uh why all the blood was rushing to our heads. Uh, B, um, what's this thing? Because we bought that with the money we got from you guys. C, why are our lips so chapped? You know? And so we took those brainstorming ideas, and then we were like, we need a new office. And then the struggling KUHI TV, you know? We looked at them, and we saw their problems, and we highlighted every problem that they had. Cameraman, back with me, huh? Stay with me. We highlighted every problem that they had. And we said, that's not what Gadfly's gonna do problems that they had, we're not going to get, you understand? And then we removed them boop, boop, from that room. Now that room is the Gadfly Laboratory, or the Gad Lab, which we like to call it, guiding you to your future here at SLU, similar to how the Guidance Center guides the juniors and the seniors to their futures. Now, you may want to stop and drink some water because we're getting pretty deep on you, but listen, we went from the back of that hallway to the front of this hallway. Just kind of how Gadfly did it. We moved horizontally, never vertically, but we always went up. We always stayed stagnant. Because staying stagnant is how you get better. Going up and down, you can't go up and down without living. Think of a heartbeat. When you live, you die. And when you die, you live. Now, as we look at the end of this hallway, we stopped at a place where your academics can flourish. Not the Robinson Library, but this room here. Welcome to Gadfly. Seven web pages about logos. Tuition. No one has any idea what happened to anything that they own. Summer reading. Facebook is the devil, but Twitter is okay. KUHI TV still exists in the minds of some freshmen. Good morning. Dr. Moran takes every opportunity to remind you that you do not have a snow day tomorrow. Web assign. The loudest thing in the library is someone yelling quiet. Nickel. Sophomores. Oh, look at that. That is just nasty. Couldn't have said it better myself. This is a thing that happens. Slew. Believe it. Become it. There are no clocks. 50 minus 47 shades of gray. Seven TVs, one channel. Someone will still forget this. 23 different schedules, two of which are regular schedule. Chemistry is a required course. Here at SLU, you're more than just a number. You're a barcode as well. Harper's first name is not actually Harper. People are disgusting. Signing up for a club just to say that you're in it and then never bothering to ask for your name to be removed from the email list. American flags are flown several places around SLU, which is a good thing. However, they aren't given proper care, such as being removed during rain and lit properly at night. And that's a bad thing. Ralph Houlihan is not principal. Exams four times a year. The walk. Being forced to exit here when no one is exiting here. Freshmen everywhere. Sleepiness. The computer lab at activity period. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. Building is a jerk to tall people. School builds fancy new commons with old logo, then changes logo and forces it on the rest of the school. I was editing this video and then this happened. Your neighbor's locker is bigger than yours because reasons.
earlier today, I had the chance to go to St. Louis University High School to Sheridan Baseball Field to meet up with a young man by the name of John Brinkman. Let's see how that interview went. I just have a real passion for, for knitting, actually. I like to make sweaters and stuff. You know, uh, every day I see John Brinkman, uh, he's the first one there, he's the last one to leave. He just works his butt off so much. He just works so hard, and he, you can tell he cares so much about each and every one of us. He just makes us feel so special every single day. So, how do you feel like your teammates have affected you? Like, what do they do to make you a better player? I am the team. You know, uh, life, life's like a box of chocolates, and, uh, I mean, I love chocolate, it's great. I love, love white, milk, dark, all the chocolates are great, and, uh, life's just like, yeah. I'm not from China. The pancakes, they're taking over. They're coming for you. I don't know what to say. What's up? Follow me on Instagram, H-O-D. Okay, count it, count it, count it, count it, count it, count it. Money over girls. Yeet. Only a champ swing the hardest in the 12th round. The selfie stick should not be a thing. I don't know what we're supposed to say after. Yeah. So 185 psychiatrists walk into the bar and the bartender is like, I'm sorry guys, but we don't serve psychiatrists. So then the psychiatrists, they walk out the bar. Steve Locke was little brother. I love Blue Gatorade. What do sprinters eat before a race? Nothing. They fast. Oh! Hey, how you doing? Project. You sweat. Feminism is okay. I play tennis. I didn't even carpool on car free day. I'm sick. I drove in the bike lane this morning. Mikey has a girlfriend. See you three. I love you. Hey, Dr. K, I lost my wallet. From Timmy. Let's help Timmy find his wallet, Dr. K. Now, this next submission was an oral submission given by two students to two of our core members here at Gadfly. But it was so good that we couldn't pass up the chance for reading it to you, our loyal viewers. So, here it is. Dear Gadfly, do you guys know the Dos Equis most interesting man in the world commercial? Wouldn't it be funny if we if you guys did that, but the most interesting slew guy in the world? Signed, two unaware freshmen. Now two unaware freshmen. If only if only we here at Gadfly could have thought of an idea like that. I feel like it would have really been fun to make. But I feel like something similar has been done, but I just can't put my finger on it. Oh, well, you may find it in a future episode. So thanks for writing. Signed, Gadfly. <coughs> this is a haiku. I'm writing it for Gadfly. The end. Thomas Lux. We'll put this over here in our magazine submissions pile. Uh, Thomas, we'll get back to you very soon on that. Dear Gadfly, fact, soup is better when it's lukewarm. You're welcome. That's not true. It's, it's not. That's a lie. That's a bold-faced lie. Ha! <laughs> 
Gani! Gani!